if you've ever looked at the wires in your wall socket and wondered, what is the difference between phase, neutral, and earth? Why do electricians always emphasize them? And what happens if you confuse one for the other? Well, in today's video, we're breaking down the absolute basics of electricity. By the end of the video, you'll finally understand how these three wires work together to keep your lights on and keep you safe. Before we jump into volts, currents, and safety devices, let's use a simple analogy. Imagine water flowing through a pipe. The phase wire is like the pump pushing water forward. It's the one delivering the energy. The neutral wire, on the other hand, is the return path, like the pipe bringing the water back to the pump. And finally, the earth wire. Think of it as an emergency drain pipe. It normally does nothing, but the moment there's a leak, it gives the water a safe path to escape. With that in mind, let's break it down one by one. The phase wire, sometimes called live or line, is the one carrying the electrical energy from the power station to your home. In most countries, it carries around 220 to 240 volts AC relative to the ground, while in North America, it's usually around 120 volts AC. When you touch the phase wire directly, your body provides a path for electricity to flow, which is why it's dangerous. This is the wire that feeds your appliances. If you plug in a lamp, electricity enters through the phase wire, travels through the bulb, and then leaves through the neutral wire. Think of phase as the giver of energy, the hot wire you should always respect. Now comes the neutral wire. Electricity is not just about pushing electrons, it's about completing a circuit. Current only flows when there's a full loop. The neutral wire provides that return path back to the power source. Here's the important part. While neutral is connected to ground at the main distribution board, it is not the same as earth. Neutral is meant for carrying current under normal operation. If you cut the neutral wire in a running appliance, the circuit breaks and the current stops. That's why phase and neutral always work together as a pair. Phase delivers the current, neutral brings it back. In our water analogy, neutral is the return pipe carrying water back to the reservoir. Now let's talk about the hero that often goes unnoticed. The earth wire. Earth is not part of the normal circuit. Appliances don't need it to run. Instead, it's a protective measure. Picture this. You're using a washing machine, and due to faulty insulation, the phase wire inside accidentally touches the metal body. Without an earth connection, the body of the machine is now live, waiting for you to touch it. Zap. But if the machine is connected to earth, something different happens. The earth wire provides a low resistance path straight into the ground. The moment the fault occurs, a surge of current rushes into the earth, causing your circuit breaker to trip. The appliance turns off instantly and you remain safe. So, Earth doesn't normally carry current, but when it does, it saves lives. Let's put them side by side for clarity. The phase live line carries current from the supply into your appliance, always dangerous to touch. Neutral completes the circuit by carrying current back to the supply, normally close to zero volts, but can still be risky. And the earth ground is the safety wire that carries current only during fault conditions, protecting you from electric shock. A lot of beginners get confused here, so let's clear up some myths. First, neutral and earth are the same. This is wrong. They may be connected together at one point in your distribution board, but their jobs are very different. Neutral carries working current. Earth is strictly for safety. Second, if an appliance runs without earth, it's fine. Well, not really. It might work, but it's not safe. Earth is like a seatbelt. You don't notice it until something goes wrong. And lastly, neutral is always safe to touch. That's dangerous thinking. If there's a wiring fault or a break in the neutral connection, it can carry full voltage. Always treat neutral with respect. Now let's make this practical. A light bulb the phase brings electricity in, it glows, neutral takes electricity back. Earth is not needed here because there's no exposed metal. The refrigerator or washing machine, same idea, but now the body is metallic. 
The earth wire ensures that if phase touches the body, the electricity flows harmlessly to the ground instead of through you. Your laptop charger. It's often double insulated, which means it doesn't need an earth wire. That's why some chargers only have two pins instead of three. Understanding phase, neutral, and earth isn't just about passing an exam. It's about safety. Every year, thousands of people get injured due to electrical faults, most of which could be prevented with proper grounding and correct wiring. So when you plug in your phone, switch on your fan, or run your washing machine, remember, the phase powers it, neutral completes it, and earth protects you. That is the beginner's guide to phase, neutral, and earth. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. And if you still have questions, drop them in the comments below. I'd love to interact. And of course, don't forget to subscribe for more simple explanation of the electrical world around you. Stay safe, respect electricity, and I'll see you in the next video.